Hey beauties, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I have my base makeup on, but today I'm going to be trying something new with my hair. I've never done this before, not even off camera, so I'm really kind of anxious and excited to see what it comes out looking like. But today I'm going to be using flexi rods. Now, I've seen a lot of people use flexi rods before and their hair came out really, really cute. But I'm not really sure exactly what my hair will look like. So I wanted to try out some flexi rods and see what the result was. I did wash my hair because I had the Garnier Fructiste Curl Treat Styler system in my hair from the last video and yeah it just had to go so I washed my hair again I used Shea Moisture's uh, coconut and hibiscus shampoo and conditioner it's their curly system and so I just braided my hair down while I did my base makeup I have a trunk full of flexi rods of different shapes and colors sorry of different sizes and colors so we're just gonna jump right into this video and hopefully it comes out looking good so first things first, I think I'll just work on this side first. I'm going to see this is my hair after I've washed it. I have a paddle brush. I'm just going to brush through it really quick. And see I have a lot of hair. And I know it looks kind of weird. I, I'm not going to put up the white backdrop this time. I'm just not going to do it. Like It's just whatever. I am going to be buying a new backdrop. I do like this like iridescent color so I'm gonna look for a lighter color in it and hopefully I can find one but until then you guys are gonna have to deal with the black one <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go in with the pillow soft curls by Miss Jessie's I'm not exactly sure like what kind of product I'm supposed to put in my hair but we're just going to try this so I'm gonna put about that much looks like that and I'm going to run this through my entire head on this side. It smells so good. I love how it smells. Excuse Chandler, he's uh, playing Talking Tom on my phone right now. So that's what it looks like when I just run that product through my hair. And then I'm just going to section off a bottom piece. We're just going to jump right into this and I'm going to pin this. I do have a hair clip guys. So I'm going to comb this out again. I'm not sure, like I saw Raven Elise, she did the like the curl makers. I'm not, I forgot what they're called, but they're like little tubes that you open up and then you, you like thread your hair through it and you let it go and it like springs into a curl. She did that, but she like brushed her hair smooth. So I'm assuming this is the same kind of situation. You brush your hair smooth and then you put it on the flexi rod. So I have about this much and I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to brush it straight well as straight as I can get it and then I'm going to take this flexi rod and I'm going to wrap the bottom first and then roll this up like so and then I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Is that is that right? Does that look right to you guys? I don't know. We'll hope that's right. So I'm going to do this. I have... I think I'm going to use the big ones on the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to use... These are kind of small. I don't have that many big ones, but I'm going to... Hopefully I can get my whole head with big ones. If not, then I'll probably use some smaller ones at the top. So I'm going to do this. Okay, I'll show you guys one more time. So because these are bigger flexi rods, I can use like a bigger piece. So I'm just going to brush. What I think I'm going to do is I'm, I think I'm going to add a little, just a tiny bit more like that. Oh, gosh into my hair I'm gonna brush that through and then I'm going to start like towards the end and I'm not only rolling it but I'm twisting it as well and then I'm going to just roll it up maybe that's 
Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I feel like this is going to be so tiresome. Okay, so I'm back. So this is what my hair looks like. Now you see I did have to add some of these because I ran out of flexi rods. But, I mean, it was pretty quick. Not too crazy. I can already tell my roots are going to be a little funky, but we'll see what happens. So, now for an eye look. I think I'm going to use the Bad Habit After Dark Palette. It looks like this because I really want to go in with that gold right there. So, I think I'm going to jump into this palette. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush. And I'm going to go into Skin to Skin, which is this shade right here. It's a really... A really like a uh, skin tone shade. I don't know how to explain it. But I'm just going to take that into my crease. Oh, I hope you guys can see because my hair is all in the way. Oh, by the way, I just recently washed my brushes. Hooray, because I haven't washed my brushes in forever. Which sounds really bad, but... Um, I'm really happy that I was able to wash my brushes the other day and let them dry because they do kind of take a long time to dry so so I want to lay that color down just to create like a nice even base I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Keshek number no. seven brush it looks like this and I'm gonna go into cheeky which is this shade right here at the top and I'm going to apply that a little bit into my crease. It's more of a orangish tone, but um, I think it's going to make a really nice transition. So what I'm doing is I'm just patting that brush. I'm patting that shade on and I'm bringing it a little bit in on the lash line as well. But I'm patting it on and then I'm going to go in with the first brush. No extra product, and I'm just going to blend that out so I don't have a harsh line. And then I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of that same cheeky color on that brush and then just use that to finish blending it out. Kind of like that. Next, I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush, and I'm going to go into Slip Dress, which is this shade right here. I'm going to, of course, tap off the extra, and I'm going to really pack that onto the outer corner. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to take my Sonia Keshek Tapered Blending Brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to softly blend out those colors so that they really mesh together well. So next, I'm actually going to take my Sonia Keshek number 28 brush. It looks like, like this. And I'm going to take Arousal, which is this dark chocolatey brown shade. I'm going to take that and I'm going to start packing that onto the outer corner right on top of Slip Dress. And I'm going to work from the bottom up with the shade because I don't want it to go too high up. So as you can see, I'm taking it and I'm just patting it on there. And it does have a little bit of fallout, which is fine because I can just dust that fallout away. But I'm just packing it on there kind of in a slanted motion. So I'm going to pack it like that. And then I'm going to take that Sonny Keshik Tapered Blending Brush and really just blend out that edge. And I'm going to build this color up. So I'm going to take it again and do the same thing. And I just want to add a little bit just to darken that up. Now I'm going to take a packing brush. This one is from the Harry Potter wand collection. And I'm going to go into 24 karat, which is this shade right here in the middle. And I'm just going to apply it a little bit and see if I want to add a little bit of Fix Plus to it. So I'm just going to, I haven't like cut my crease or anything, I'm just going to wipe that on. The shade is really pretty, but I do want to add a little bit of spray to it. So I'm just going to take some on that brush and I'm going to spray it. 
this is actually the Mario Badescu facial setting spray because I can't um, find my other setting sprays. So. so now that I have that 24 karat gold um, color down, I'm going to go back in with a taper blending brush and I'm just going to take Arousal, which is that dark shade, and really just apply it to the outer because I do want it to be a little darker and I'm taking this blending brush because I just want it to blend and distribute really nicely take that fall off my face I'm just gonna take a fluffy powder brush that I used to set my face with um, it still has a little bit of powder in there I'm just going to wipe that off so you guys know I'm not really a fan of liner, but I do want to apply a little bit of liner. This is the uh, Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner. I don't know. Uh, it's in the color black. So I think I'm going to just kind of go for it. Gosh. I'm not going to make like a big wing. I'm just going to do a little bit of liner. That's actually... <laughs> B. That's actually a really nice liner. I actually haven't done a liner to look like that before, so I'm really excited. For lashes, because this look is a little dramatic, so I think I'm going to go in with my Eyelore and Crazy Ray Ray. These are kind of like my new faves. Um, they're the crazy classy lashes, and they look... Is it going to focus? Oh, they look like that. Okay, they look like that. I'm going to apply that really quick off camera, do my other eye, and then I'll come back to you guys when my hair is all set. Alrighty. Alrighty, so I'm back. So I did do the other eye. I applied the lashes. For my lip combo, I did a little bit of Ruffle from ColourPop and then Cyberknot from um, MAC. And I did outline my lips with Strip Down. So that's my lip combo. I'm not sure how I feel about it with this eye look, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I did add some... Uh, Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Liner in Soft Nude into my waterline because I wanted my eyes to appear a little more brighter. I do really like how this look came out. I think it's really, really cute. And then, of course, I did my wing liner. I feel like my hair is, you know, dry. This one feels like it could be dry. So let's just take this down and see what happens. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Now, I don't know what this little piece right here is doing, but like the end piece is really cute. Mmm, interesting. Okay, so let me take down another piece. Okay, so the pieces that I applied, like twirling it around and twisting it, those came out like this. And then the pieces at the top that were just flat rolled came out like that so it does make a difference how you apply them but um I definitely know that this isn't dry yet so I'm going to apply I'm gonna put these back in I do like how they look spiral curled because I feel like when I take them down it'll look a lot better so let me get a little dryer thingamajig and my blow dryer and I'll be right back all right so this is the little head dryer I was talking about I'm sure many of you guys have seen it before but it has like holes in it, so you just stick your head in it. Let me tell you, actually. And then it has this little tube that you stick the, and a little scrunchy part right here, that you stick the blow dryer in. So it looks like this, and then I just turn it on. I think I'm going to turn it on low or warm, and then try to probably dry this for like 10 minutes. So let's see what this... Alrighty, so it's been about 10 minutes. I had that little heater on my head and it really did work really, really quickly. Um, I had it on low and on warm and it did um, dry my hair. So what I'm going to do now is I don't want to put any oils or anything on my hair. Just, I mean on my hands just because I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm just going to just start taking them down. I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to work my way, you know, up. So this is the side that I did first. I 
I mean, maybe I should have used a different product in my hair instead of the Pillow Soft Curls, but I don't think it's going to come out too bad. This one came out kind of like Shirley Temple Girls. Okay. okay, so this is what it looks like not combed out or anything. Like, my hair is still a little damp, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be because I thought it was going to be soaking wet. But um, I have two different kinds of curls. So I have like this spiral Shirley Temple type of curl. And then I have these like, these kind of curls. Which, I mean, I kind of like both of them. I like how they both give me like a different texture. I am going to separate just a little bit of the curls. I'm just going to find some pieces, separate them, and then curl them back with my finger. Okay, so all I did was like slip down my baby hairs on this side and pin some of my hair back to kind of like it's not the greatest hair but it's not terrible like you know I just feel like <laughs> I don't know I have no idea so this is what my hair looks like after I have the flexi rods in I honestly had them in for like three hours and I did the dryer and I thought my hair was like dry because like to the touch it felt dry so I took them down but now they're not like you know all the way dry so they look a little mm -hmm. But it's not too bad, like I just uh, slicked some little makeshift baby hairs and I pinned a little bit of my hair back behind my ear just so that it wasn't like overwhelming my face. And then this side I'll probably wear that behind my shoulder or if I wear it like this, would this be better? That cute? Like what? Y'all tell me in the comments down below if this is acceptable or not because I know it's not like the best flexi rod application situation y'all seen I probably won't use the pillow soft curls um, because this for me it's not ideal for this kind of look I think I'd probably just use this on just washed hair put some in my hair and let it air dry I think for this kind of look I probably need something different now I do need to look into some more hair products so if you guys have any recommendations for hair products that will kind of like protect my hair while I wear it in its natural state which is curly let your girl know down below in the comments because I need to get on that as soon as possible but I'm not even like mad at it I can definitely try this again if you guys want me to see one where I like let the flexi rod set overnight let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely get that up for you because I kind of did have fun doing this to my hair I just need to like get more flexi rods, more of each size. I definitely want to get more of the blue and the red ones because these ones are smaller and I think they will really gave me a really nice like full look to my hair. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to join the Beauty Bunny family because we're a family here and you know we're trying to get a pop in for the new year. Okay? So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.